All right, guys, this is part two of, you know, the 90s, like sharing my 90s experience and, and all the cartoons and music and games I really liked. And I revisited most of these things. So as I was saying, my favorite, one of my favorite cartoons of all time, next to Sailor Moon, of course, Dragon Ball Z. But this one was fucking fantastic. I would say Duckman. Duck, when I watched Duckman, now I watched it when I was younger. And I was like, all right. I didn't get all the jokes because I was still young. When I watched it again as, a, as, as an adult, I was like, this fucking show is fucking amazing. Duckman, uh, what's, what's the actor's name? I think it's Jason Alexander. He killed it. He killed it with Duckman. Duckman, first of all, let's talk about the style. The style is fucking amazing. Dark, gritty, has that film noir, detective feel to it. It's extremely kind of trippy. You know, the coloring style is wonderful. They use exotic colors and tones. Um, a lot of purples and grays and stuff. Very sketchy, you know, very um, har harsh and rough. Characters, interesting. First of all, let's talk about the characters in Duckman. First of all, Duckman by Jason Alexander killed it. Duckman was amazing. Corn Fed was amazing. I loved Corn Fed. Corn, thank God he had Corn Fed in his office because Duckman was just a fucking dumbass. He's just so fucking stupid. But Corn Fed was definitely the brains of the bunch and Duckman was definitely the, the fast talker. And those two uh, bears, I forgot what their names were. Those two bears that he would like rip them apart and smash them. And I liked, his family was interesting. Bernice was interesting. I didn't hate her. A lot of people didn't like Bernice because she was really feminist and annoying and stuff. But I actually liked her. Her character, the reason why I like Bernice's character is because she balanced out the Duckman character because she was exactly opposite of Duckman. She was a feminist. She was hardcore whoop, uh, girl power. You know, I'm going to work hard. You know, I'm going to exercise. She's always fucking exercising like crazy, taking care of the kids, holding it down. And Doug Man's just this douchebag, asshole, sexist piece of shit. So I like the character dynamic there. His fucking son, Ajax, I have laughed almost to the point of pissing on myself with this character. Ajax was so fucking funny. Because they made him seem so retarded, but in actuality, he was actually extremely brilliant with that interesting duality there. His two um, brothers who were smart with the um, conjoined twins, that was interesting. King Chicken. I, that's, I was like, who is Duckman's nemesis? I forgot it was King Chicken. King Chicken was funny. Um, played by, I think it was Tim Curry. Because his, his voice is very recognizable to me. King Chicken and uh, I forgot the other uh, people that were his enemies. Like, I have to really rewatch it again. It was some mad scientist guy and some doctor and all this stuff. But Duckman was one of my favorite cartoons of all time. Very well done. It was extremely underappreciated. Why did they... Like, I hate when they take such an amazing cartoon because I critically analyze stuff. Like, if it's a piece of shit, I'll be like, this was shit, you know. But I believe Duckman was extremely well-crafted, great art, great actors, interesting storyline, and there was a lot of deep, meaningful shit in this cartoon. If you look at it again, one of my favorite episodes of Duckman was the time where he, um, where Ajax made a mistake and made a time-traveling device. And Duckman had to go back in the past. Um, he was going back and forth from the future to the past, trying to see what was going to happen. And he realized he doesn't want to know what's going to happen. He just wants to live his life. That was a very deep episode. So, guys, don't sleep on cartoons. A lot of these cartoons, they look, haha, it's funny. They have a lot of deep meaning in them. Like, they try to they try to put truth in, in, in a in a funny way. They try to get the truth out but make you laugh at the same time because sometimes the truth can be really dark and sometimes the truth can be, you know, hard to deal with but, you know, I like this deep meaning in these cartoons. So Duckman is definitely one of my favorite shows. 
Now, guys, speaking of Duckman, you know, let's talk about another great show that is one of my favorites, of course, South Park. I did a video about South Park versus Family Guy in my Brooke favorites. I think South Park was one of the best cartoons of all time because, first of all, let's talk about the art. Now, I remember watching an interview with Matt and Trey where they like said other animators were really hating on them because they weren't like master fucking artists. They were extremely simplistic in their style. But you know what, what I like about them? Their style is so unique. No, it's not Picasso. No, there's not a lot of detail. No, there's not, you know, uh, deviant art on the fucking front page and shit. I'm pretty sure if South Park wasn't famous, it would not even reach the front page of Deviant Art. And by the way, I'm not on Deviant Art anyway because I just I have my own opinions about that site, but um South Park has a very unique style. I like how simple it is. I like how unique and creative it is. The characters are awesome. Stan Kyle, Cartman Kenny, you know, Mr. Hat and, and Mr. Garrison and all this shit. And South Park is definitely great. I don't even have to explain it. You guys already know. South Park's already great. It's it's made some great strides in their career. And it's, it's I'm not going to waste my time explaining why South Park is great. You guys already know. Um, What other cartoons that I explore now? I've watched Drawn Together, if you guys remember that cartoon where they had a pilot for it. It had a bunch of characters from different realms of cartoons put together in a house. I thought the concept was interesting. I thought the, the cartoon had potential, but the reason why I probably got canceled because it was just too graphic. Like, you know how cartoons, they, they push the envelope a little bit because they, they were trying to convey some type of meaning. I don't like cartoons that just want to like be graphic and disgusting just for no reason, with no meaning attached to it. They just want to be vile and disgusting for shock value. And I think that's why that cartoon did not have a lot of substance to it. It was just disgusting. It was, it was funny, it was interesting, but they went too far for no reason. So at a certain point, I didn't like Drawn Together. Um, what other thing? I'm going through memory lane right here. I'm just giving a brief synopsis because there's so many things I liked from the 90s, but I'm trying to just get the main ones out now. I'm going to move on to video games. Oh, and I can't forget to mention um, Doug, of course. I'm going to go through really quick. I love Doug. I loved Real Monsters. I rewatched that, I think, like last month. Real Monsters was really good. I didn't realize how good it was, but I rewatched it. I actually watched Rugrats last night with my fiance because he said he remembered an episode that made him laugh, so we watched it. Ar hey Arnold's one of the best cartoons of all time. That needs no explanation. It was the mo one of the most realist, down to earth shows. It taught you a lot about life. As Told by Ginger was extremely well done. Um, I'm sorry if I miss anything else. I, for, I if I forgot. Um, cool World. That wasn't really a cartoon. That was a movie, but I liked Cool World. That was very interesting. Um, if you guys don't know what Cool World is, just it's a very old movie. It's a mixture of uh, uh, live action mixed with with animation. Let's quickly go through some movies real quick because I'm trying to get under 15 minutes. Alice in Wonderland, extremely well done. I still look at it for like just to study it, to improve my own artwork of extremely amazing art style. Alice in Wonderland, Little Mermaid, amazing. Um, Lion King, amazing. Aladdin, amazing. Even though Disney is, say t is um, well... I have to say Disney has a dark side. I'm not going to go into how satanic it is and all that. You guys can go on YouTube and look that up. There's lots of videos about how satanic Disney is. And, and I agree. There is a lot of subliminal stuff. But they did have some good stuff. I really liked... Um, I actually watched Frozen. I wasn't going to give it a chance. I'm like, Frozen, fuck that. I watched it. It wasn't bad. Frozen was... Okay, it wasn't as great as their older works from Disney, but it was okay. A shout out to Ants as well. Ants was a really good movie, and it had a lot of deep meaning. 
you know, a lot of deep meaning in it about this reality. So if you guys have, haven't seen Ants, type in Ants and it's, it's a really good movie. Take a look at it. Um, now I'm going to go into um, video games really quickly. I'm going to end my video. If I don't finish, I'll make another video another time. So video games. My favorite video game of all time has to be Oddworld. All of them. Abe's Odyssey, Abe's Exodus, Munch's Odyssey. I didn't play Stranger's Wrath. I know. You realize, like, why? Because I didn't have an Xbox. That's why I didn't play it. But I played all the Odd Worlds. Excellent game. First of all, I got to talk about this artwork. This is the level that I want to get to with my artwork. It's going to take a lot. But this guy, the, look, if, if you don't know what Odd World is, please take a look at it. You're probably like, wow, this is some weird shit. I've never seen anything like that in my life. The characters are so out of this world and different. They look alien-like. That's probably why I like it. But Our World is one of the best artwork for its time. It came out early in the 90s. Really amazing artwork. Great themes. Great um, philosophical messages. It's very spiritual. It's, it's like a puzzle. You got to figure out your way out of situations without getting killed and it's amazing you guys please check out odd world it's it, and don't be intimidated because it's hard because it is hard it's an extreme puzzle slash strategy game it's hard but you'll enjoy it trust me just give it a shot odd world sonic of course i just had a video about sonic me i'm a huge everyone knows i'm a huge sonic geek um Video games, video games. Oh, I'm a fighting gamer, of course. Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat, Killer Instinct, um, Skullgirls, Capcom, uh, SNK, uh, what was it, uh, Capcom versus SNK was a really good game as well. I wish they came out with that again, because I think I had that for GameCube, but, um, uh, Capcom versus SNK. Smash Brothers, of course, huge fan. Smash Brothers was awesome. My favorite character in Smash Brothers was definitely, I like Lucas. I liked um, Peach, of course. Of course I'm going to use Peach. Oh, you use using Peach because you're a girl. Fuck that. Peach is, yeah, I knew guys that use Peach. Peach was, if you knew how to use Peach correctly, she was a beast. If you knew how to do those combos with her turnip and stuff like that and her jumping down, um, Damn, I haven't played Smash Brothers in a minute. I can't believe... If you jump and float and do, do her down kick, um, I think that's down A. You know, you could do a lot of mix-ups and combos with that. It's really amazing. Like, Peach, Lucas, now... Okay, there's this Ness and Lucas shit debate. Like, I like Lucas because, for some reason, I was not good with Ness, no matter how much I tried. Uh, Lucas was a little bit more my style. And... Um, who else did I freaking use in Smash Brothers? I don't even remember. Because I haven't played Smash Brothers in almost a year. That's sad. Because we sold our Wii, but I, I still like it. Um, Mortal Kombat was definitely interesting. <laughs> it's just so dark and bloody. But it was... I like the style. See, you one minute you want to play Street Fighter, and it's bright and colorful. The next minute you're in the mood for Mortal Kombat, like bloody and dark and, and shit like that. And then, uh, it's getting dark in here. Um, what else is really, really good for video games? Sake. I'm currently playing Overwatch, but that was in 90s. The only shooting game I played in the 90s was 007 Goldeneye. And uh, let me tell you, that game was so much fun. Goldeneye. And the graphics now, the kids of today will be like, how could you guys get through these graphics? At the time, the games were so good. The graphics, I mean, the graphics were shit. But because the game was so much fun, we didn't care about the graphics. Um, I played all the Sailor Moon games on my emulator. The Sailor Moon fighting game. I wish they would actually get the Blaze Blue people and make a Sailor Moon fighting game and bring it back. Because it would look really, really fucking awesome. If they did that, because the Sailor Moon fighting game was actually, and I and I play a lot of fighting games, and I, I'm a I, I critique hard. I don't just give shit passes just because it's Sailor Moon. Oh, they get it? No, it was actually really, it was actually well done. 
the controls were a little hard and stuff and it was a little but I'm pretty sure if they got like the the guilty gear people or the the, the guilty gear people to um fix the Sailor Moon fighting game and, and relaunch it, I'm pretty sure that shit would get more girls into fighting games. I'm pretty sure there's a lot of females who play fighting games, but it's it's getting better. It's getting better than because when I was playing video games, it was kind of like everyone was looking at me like you're a fucking super nerd and weird and whatever. But now it's it's getting better, so that's good. Well, guys, I have a long. As you guys can see, I'm a really like nerd, like geek, and I love it. But I could go on a long list of all the shit I used to play and watch and, and the movies. But I think I'm going to stop here because my video is too long. So, alright guys, see ya.